In this lesson, we will talk about the treasury bill functions of Excel. These are T-bill EQ, T-bill price, and T-bill yield. Treasury bill are short-term obligations backed by a government with a maturity date of equal to or less than one year after the settlement date. The settlement day is the date the duration of the bill starts and maturity date when it ends. They are offered at a discount rate of their market value. At the end of their duration, the investor gets back the full market value of the bill, thus earning the difference. A interest of a treasury bill is the discount rate, so it is calculated at a percentage of its final value. In our example, for every $100 of a treasury bill, we paid $95.75. We had a discount rate of 8.5% and a total yield of 8.88%. Let's see our other example. A three-month treasury bill which we bought for $10,000 at a discount rate of 10%. Thus, we paid $9,000. But any other bond or security calculate the interest rate of an investment as percentage of the initial investment, in our case, the $9,000. The need to compare other bonds to the bills gave birth to these three Excel functions. One function was needed to calculate the yield of the bill as a percentage of the initial investment, one to provide us with a price per $100 face value of a bill, this means the price we paid for each $100 of the bill, and one to calculate the bond equivalent yield of the bill. Let's learn how we can use these three functions ourselves. On this sheet we have the information of a three-month treasury bill. The settlement date, the maturity date and the discount rate. We will calculate first the price per $100 of the bill. We select cell B5 and type the name of the function. which is the bill price, which stands for treasury bill price, and enclosed in parentheses, settlement day, maturity date, and discount. We close the parentheses and click on enter. This is the price per $100 which means we bought $100 bill but paid for it $97.5. The yield of this investment will be calculated in cell B6. We click on B6, we type the name of the function, which is T-bill yield, treasury bill yield, the same attributes, settlement, maturity, the last value is a bit different, that PR stands for price per $100, the value we have just calculated. Close the parenthesis, the yield of uh, our bill is 10 0.26%. If we need to compare this bill to a bond investment, we have to calculate the bond equivalent yield of our treasury bill. So in cell B7, we type the function T-bill EQ, which stands for treasury bill equivalent, with the proper arguments, which are settlement date, 
maturity date and discount. We click on enter and we see that the bond equivalent yield is 10.4%.